Hi, welcome to Keppel Bay Marina. Look at all these lovely ships behind me. Boats, yachts, I'll give you another view around soon. But none of these boats would have made it from Hamburg, Germany to Harvey Bay, Australia in 1872. That's when many individuals and families were leaving Germany due to the depression and oppression of its people. Many souls were desperate to seek a better life, leaving everything they knew to arrive in a foreign country. It took 90 days and some 300 or more people were on each ship. The passenger logs state there was 350 if not more, yet the um, captain actually only has 250. So there's a story there as well. Imagine being on a ship with over 300 people for 90 days, not knowing anything or anyone when you arrive. This is just one story I've discovered from many blank branches on my family tree. Our ancestors are more than names on paper. They are the interesting stories that shows us lives once lived, from cows to sugarcane, from convicts to the Anzacs. This is my journey. Come along with me, discovering stories of ancestry, facts, and life. My story with My great grandmother, Albertine Long. She was born on the 18th of April, 1856, to Johann and Wilhelmina Lowell. Now, Albertina had an older sister by three years, also named Wilhelmina. Now, the girls boarded the Herschel, a ship that was voyaging from Germany, that was, she was born in Germany, um, and they were going to travel to Harvey Bay, Australia. The travel would take three months. Now little did the girls know that this was going to be the last time that they would ever see their parents. Sadly, both parents passed away in Poland. They never made it to Australia. The girls' voyage was leaving on the 1st of December 1871, leaving Germany, and that were going to arrive in Harvey Bay, Australia in 1872, on the 4th of March. It would have been a massive sea voyage, travelling with 300 odd people that you didn't know. How scary would it be just to turn up in a, in a country that you didn't know, the climate was different, the animals, the flora, the fauna? What sort of life were they hoping to achieve? Now the passenger log stated that Albertine was 16 and Wilhelmina 19. I'll pop that up in a minute. The Herschel passenger summary shows 369 people embarked, there was 9 births, 10 deaths, 368 people landed. Albertine was only 15 and Wilhelmina 18 because of their ages um, and their birth, date of birth but Albertine didn't even turn 16 until well and truly they had arrived in Australia. To Rudolph. Rudolph August Jacoby was born on the 5th of October 1848. So he was 23 and he also boarded a ship in the following year, the Rijkaard, and he was coming over to Australia as well. However, he left Hamburg, Germany and arrived in Maranborough. The Reichardt's passenger summary shows 381 passengers embarked, 41 died, one birth and only 341 landed. Albertina and Wilhelmina travelled on the Herschel and Rudolf travelled on the Reichstag and they both came by free passage. 
it states in the passenger log. So free passage back then meant that they had no debt to accumulate at all. There was assistance, there was different grants, there was travel and then send money back or parents had to pay. So it was actually free travel. So once they arrived in Australia with all their belongings, if they had a little money, that was it. There was no debt, they were free to roam and establish a life. Now Rudolph landed in Maryborough and Maryborough was huge for sheep stations. Plus there was also Gympie which wasn't too far down the road and that was the gold mine. It was a big gold rush and a surge. So we're not sure what Rudolph was about but we do know he was a builder. I arrived in Harvey Bay and Rudolph arrived in Maryborough nearly 12 months later and arriving 32 kilometres apart somehow some way they met they fell in love and they married on Albertine's 18th birthday on the 18th of April 1874 and they established their life in Maryborough. Rudolph built a home for them in Garden Street, Maryborough. I'll show you the map about whereabouts it was. Now 12 months later their first child, a son, was born and then they had a further seven more children. I was going to say eight, seven more children. Now the second youngest child that was born was Richard Conrad Jacoby and he's my great grandfather. It's also believed that Rudolf built the first German Lutheran church, St. Matthew's in Maryborough. It was a beautiful timber church, however sadly it burnt down. There's only a few photos left. Thank you.